We're starting off today with the Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serum. This is one of my favorite lip plumpers. I think it does a fantastic job. Then we're going in with the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is a great formula. It has a nice, uh, it's like a lotion, uh, but it really does do a great job of uh, blending into my eyelid and it doesn't leave any sort of like a greasy feel or anything like that. Helps my eyeshadow stay on throughout the day. Very lightweight on the eyes and I think it intensifies the eyeshadow as well, which really helps make your eyes pop. I can't get enough of the Clinique Even Better All Over Primer and Color Corrector in the color Peach. It does a great job of taking away that dark pigmentation under my eyes, but what I also like about it is it acts as a primer, so that is really good for uh, before you're, uh, you're applying your concealer. blends in really nicely. I just prefer to use my fingertips. I think that it does a better job with my the warmth of my fingers. We're trying out a new uh, primer today. This is the Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer. It has vitamin C in it, pro vitamin B5 squalene and jojoba oil. It is like a lotion type of product. Does say that it's good for all skin tones. I like to rub it between my fingers first and I think it just applies a little bit better on my skin. It absorbs better into my skin. But look at that illumination. Look at how beautiful it's giving my skin that little bit of radiance. I like how it's just like, it. look at how my skin is just instantly brightened. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous primer. Highly recommend. The Revlon uh, Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil has fast become my holy grail eyebrow pencil. I have this one in the shade medium brown. And the, the spoolie is actually quite nice. It really does a nice job of going through my hairs and then I just do little short strokes I always say you can always have a nice eyeshadow palette and they don't have to be expensive. I'm using the Essence Taupe It Up and nothing compares to nude palettes. I'm going to first go in with this shade here. It's a nice little uh, sandy type of uh, brown and I'm using that as my transition shade. It's just going to cover up any little red veins and discoloration I may have on my eyelid. They're not overly powdery and I don't get a lot of fallout from these uh, eyeshadow palettes. Great drugstore find. The next shade is like a, it's like a gray shade and I want to put that right on the corner, give it a little bit more depth into my eyes. They blend in really, really well, uh, even though they are such an affordable product and that's what really blows me away with these palettes. Super affordable, but great quality. The shade I'm going to use to put on my eyelid, it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it, and it's just a little bit of a darker brown than the original shade I put on my lids. And I'm just putting that more on the center. I find that that gives your eye just a little pop of color. And then I'm gonna make sure to just blend it in with my brush, make there there's no harsh lines or anything like that. But really, really pretty color. I'm going to go in with that darker brown. Now it's more like a chocolate brown. And I want to apply that right above my crease. I don't want to put it right in the crease, but just above it. And I find that that helps because I do have a little bit of a hooded eye. So it's not going to make my eyes look kind of sunken in. I've been using this L'Oreal the Precision Felt Liner. I have the shade of brown, but it's a nice felt tip a liner, very easy to use. I usually kind of start in the middle of my eye with little short strokes and work my way to the end of my eye. I, I'm gonna do like a little bit of a wing, that's why I'm wearing the Sephora uh, tape as a guide. 
and I will usually just take it down into my tear duct area because I am going to be wearing false lashes and I want it to have like that seamless look. But this is waterproof, it doesn't smudge, and really, really, really pigmented. I find brown is a little bit easier to work with than the black. It's not as harsh. And I'm going to tight line my eyes. We're using the infallible, the, this is the L'Oreal uh, Gel Mechanical Liner. I have this one in the shade uh, Brown Denim. And this one does a great job of staying in my waterline. The foundation today I'm using is the Revlon Color Stay. This is the Long Wear Makeup. I have this one in the shade 135. It's not an overly runny foundation, which I like. It does a great job of covering up all of my little imperfections, but it's not a full coverage. I'm gonna say it's more of like a light to medium, just using my e.l.f. sponge to blend everything in. This is a, a bit of a reformulated product. I had They've included a hyaluronic acid in it now, and it does have SPF 20. But again, I never rely on my makeup to supply my SPF I, or my sunscreen. I always apply extra sunscreen anyhow. Doesn't settle into my fine lines and still looks really, really good even at the end of the night. It says it's like 24 hour wear, but again, I've never, I never wear my makeup for 24 hours. Gives me a nice radiant finish. We're going in with my Holy Grail concealer, the Lancome Tint Idel All Over Concealer. I have this one in the shade 215 Buff. And with that color corrector, it's nice because I don't have to apply as much concealer then. I just put it where I am the darkest, where I need it the most. And then I put a little bit on the edges and I'm very careful not to disturb that wing too much that I made. But this is such a fantastic concealer doesn't look all cakey even by the end of the night doesn't sink into all my, of my fine lines and I usually don't even have to powder with this one it is a little bit on the higher price point but I think it's totally worth it look at that coverage it's just fantastic Now I'm going to take a little bit of combination of the shades that I put on my eyelids and I'm going to apply those underneath my eyes. I always like to have a little bit of something on my lower lash line. I find the eyeshadows just look a little bit better than plain eyeliner. I'm using the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara in the shade Deep Brown. It has the wand that has a little bit, the bristles are on either side. So one gives length and one gives more of like that volumizing, deposits more of the color on your, or product onto your lashes. For me, because my, my lashes are, you know, on the smaller side anyhow, the thinner side, um, I find this one doesn't give me intense volume. It does a pretty decent job. This is the one non-drugstore product I'm using. It's a Sephora 12 hour gel eyeliner pencil for my waterline. It's in the shade Coconut. This does a great job of staying in my waterline for in a, like a really, really long time throughout the day. So that's why I like this one. We're using the Milani uh, Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have this one in the shade Sun Tan. This is one of the best drugstore bronzers out there. It's not overly powdery. It's a nice matte finish actually, which I like. It doesn't have any little bits of glitter in it at all. It has a little uh, like a coconut scent to it. And it does give me that nice sun-kissed glow. It's uh, blendable doesn't leave me any streaks on my face long wearing throughout the day like this won't fade for the rest of the day it does have argan oil in it as well I always make sure to run it down my neck 
just everything looks seamless that way. We're using the Essence The Blush is just what it's called in the shade Befitting. Great little blush, very affordable, not overly powdery. It's quite a smooth, like the texture is quite smooth and you can build it up. I love this shade. I find it really is a great one for the summertime. Really, really pretty. Again, another great drugstore find. And it's not chalky. Some uh, some drugstore uh, blushes can be kind of a little bit chalky, but this one isn't. Just lovely. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I have this one in the shade Molten Rose Gold. It's very well used, as you can see. But I haven't used it on my channel for quite some time, so I thought I would pop it on here. This one is like one of those ones that you can have maybe a little bit too much on it, so I apply it very sparingly. But again, you don't need a lot of this. It just gives a really beautiful uh, glow to your skin. formula is quite a silky texture. Like I said, it's been around forever. I thought the Bare Minerals uh, Min Mineralist, uh, this is the Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Blissful Blush. What it, the, It's going to fit ni nicely with the uh, lipstick I'm wearing today, but this is such a soft pencil. And what I like about it, I mean, it is one of those ones that you have to sharpen. It's so amazing how incredibly soft this pencil is. All right, let's make sure to fill in my whole uh, lip and that way as my lipstick dissipates throughout the day, I don't have those harsh lines. It'll just dissipate really nicely. Very, very silky soft uh, pencil. Again, it's a little bit on the higher price point, but I, I totally think it's worth it. We're going in with a Revlon um, lipstick today. I have this one in the shade Bear It All. It's such a beautiful uh, nude shade, but see how well it pairs with the lip liner. Very silky uh, texture. It's not a matte and it also is not like a glossy type of lipstick. It's more like a satin finish like a creamy formula. And for a bullet lipstick, it actually lasts pretty well, but it's such a beautiful shade. It's one of my favorites. And to finish off the look, we're going with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I really like the dispenser on this one. It doesn't shoot you like right in the face with the, with the product. And then I usually blend it in with my e.l.f. sponge. But it kind of just sprays it all over your face and not directly in your eyes. I really love how this look turned out. This is my going from drab to fab look. I hope you enjoyed it. Using all drugstore products, well, mostly. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, have a good week, everyone. Bye.